You're watching KXAN Austin News at 5. Tuesday, November 6, 2012, will potentially be a landmark date for this city. The state of the city of Austin is strong and getting stronger. That's the boast of Mayor Lee Leffingwell, who delivered the State of the City speech early this morning. Hello, I'm Robert Hadlock. And I'm Shannon Wolfson. The mayor hit on three major points. The transportation bond, a push for single-member districts, and the next citywide improvement bond. KXA and city reporter Reagan Hackleman joins us live from City Hall to explain what the mayor said and how it could affect you. Reagan? Well, Shannon, the mayor's speech lasted for about an hour. During that speech, he touched on three important things that he says are crucial for Austin's future. Austin's economy, transportation problems, or I should say fixing those transportation problems, and how Austin elects its city leaders. During Friday's State of the City address, Austin's mayor decided to focus most of his speech on one particular day next year. Tuesday, November 6, 2012, will potentially be a landmark date for this city. On that day, Mayor Leffingwell wants Austin voters to approve two major bond elections and a change to the city's charter that would fundamentally change Austin's government. Without a doubt, it will be the most pivotal single election in Austin in a generation, arguably among the most important in our city's 170-year history. One bond would be a multi-hundred million dollar comprehensive bond package that the mayor says would include money for housing, parks, libraries, and other much-needed infrastructure. The second bond, a transportation bond, focusing on new roads, new bike paths, and an urban rail system that could have a one billion dollar price tag. Because if we fail to deliver easy alternatives to single occupant car trips, Austin will never be the kind of livable, sustainable city that we want it to be. Mayor Leffingwell also wants to change the way Austin City Council members are elected. Currently, council members are elected by everyone in the city and they represent everyone in the city. The mayor says it's time for council members to be elected and represent the areas or districts in which they live. That too will be up to voters on November 6, 2012. Now, no specific price tag was discussed today during the State of the City speech. Of course, we will keep digging into this, and once we get those numbers from the city, we will be sure to pass those on to you. Now, you can find a complete transcript of the...